Hi everyone. Let's solve this question. This is this is a question from Peter Lynn's book. Okay, so let's solve this. Create a Mille machine, Mure machine that takes binary string as the input, and you can notice its output will be a string of zero. So you can notice the, what is the output? The output is a string of zero until the first one. Okay, so in output will be a string of zero until the first one, and then it will print one. This is to continue until the next one. When the next one comes, then again you will start printing zero. So this is this is what we have to do. Okay. So every time a one occurs, every time you see a one, then basically you will uh, you will start printing something different. Okay. Let me tell you what this question is saying. You can read the question and you can try to understand the question. But let me make you understand what this question is saying. The question is saying that, for example, if your input is this, let's assume zero zero one. Okay, zero one 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 zero zero one zero. Okay, let's assume this is your input. Then output will be what? The question is saying that whatever input you take, the input is a binary string, and the output will be a string of zeros. The output, the output actually will be a string of zeros until the first one. Okay, the output will be a string of zeros until the first one. Then okay, so output will be a string of zeros until the first one. When you see the first one, when you see the first one, then you will start printing zero uh, ones. Now you will start printing ones until the next one. Until the next one. Now when the next one comes, now again you will start printing zero. Until the next one. When the next one comes, again you will start printing one. Until the next one. Now you will again start printing zero. Okay. Until the next one. Now again you will start printing ones. Okay. So this is the idea. i hope the idea is clear to everyone so the question is saying that every time you encounter one basically the question is like this okay for example you are you are, okay uh, for example this is your input this is your input okay in this input what you are okay you are reading 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 and if the first one comes let's assume this is the first one okay so let's assume here you have 0 0 then you will print 0 0 okay your output will be 0 0 now when the first one comes now you will start printing ones okay you will start printing ones till the next one so you will start printing ones till the next one when the next one comes now again you will switch to printing zeros now again what you will do you will start printing zeros till the next one now when the next one comes again you will print one now till the next one if the next one comes again you will start printing zero if the next one comes you will start printing one if the next one comes you will start printing zero if the next one comes you will start printing one and then okay till the next one when the next one comes then you will start printing zeros okay so this is the idea i hope the idea is clear to everyone okay so now we have to make the mille machine mure machine for this so the concept is very simple so first we will create the mille machine okay so let's see this so very simple that initially this is your initial state q0 in this state if zero are coming then what you can do if zero is coming you just print zero okay there is no problem because you can notice if zero are coming then you just okay uh, you print zero okay so if input zero then your output will be zero if one you see the first one this is your first one now you will start printing you will start printing one see okay when okay zeros are coming you will print zero okay any number of zeros are coming you will print zero now when the first one comes now you will start printing one so when the first one come what you will do you will start printing one okay you will go here now if zeros are coming now if zeros are coming you will print one okay as long as because see okay in this, let me tell you like this here we are printing zero let's assume here we are printing zero and let's assume here we are printing one okay so you can notice if zeros are coming you will print zero okay if zeros are coming you will print zero and the first one when the one comes then you will start printing ones okay now if zeros are coming you will again print one 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 but if one comes then what you will do then again you will print zero if one comes then what you will do you will output zero again if another one comes you will print one okay so this is the idea okay so this is your mille machine remember this is a mille machine okay this i am this you can remove this this i am showing just for your understanding purpose but actually this is a so you can note this is your mille machine for this problem okay so like this you can do like this you can write the mille machine now once you have this mille machine now what you can do you can write the output equation also and you can write the next state variable equation also okay so let's okay let me ask you one more question here what you do now in this question what you do you write the output equation so basically output variable equation and you also write the next state equation so let's see 
can you can you do this you can pause the video and you can try to write the output equation and you can also try to write the uh, next state variable equation okay so let me tell you that output okay so let's assume output variable let's assume output variable is y okay so let me just assume that y output variable is y now this will actually depend on two things okay so what is your current state what is your current state and what is your input what is your input so let me okay so let's let's assume that this is your input this is the input bit okay and this is your current state this is the present state or i can say this is the current state so you can notice output will actually depend on what is your current state and what is your input bit okay similarly you can notice that okay uh, similarly i can say that your next state your next state that also will depend on the next state that will also depend on what is your current state and what is your current input okay so let's write the equation from this state diagram once you have this state diagram you can very easily write the uh, output equation and you can also write the uh, next state variable equation so let me just write it here okay so what will be the output equation so let's assume i am denoting output variable by y and i am denoting uh, the next state variable by s plus okay so let's do that so here what will be the equation for y means output so just focus on when the output is one just focus on when the output will become one so you can notice output will become one here output will become one here remember this is your state diagram from the state diagram if you want to write equation for output variable or for next state or any variable if you want to write equation from the state diagram then just focus on when that variable will become one so this is your output variable okay so just focus on when the output will become one so you can notice output will become one here output will become one here okay and i can just write it s equal to 0 s equal to 1 i can write it like this okay so this is your s equal to 0 this is your s equal to 1 okay so what will the, what will be the output equation very simple output will become 1 when output will become 1 just focus on when this will become 1 just focus on that so this will become 1 when s is 0 and input is okay this is your x when s is 0 and input is uh, 1 so when s is 0 and input is 1 then this will become 1 okay what else so when s is 0 and input is 1 then it will become 1 or i can say when s is 1 and input is 0 when s is 1 but input is 0 okay so you can notice in these two situations when s is 0 x is 1 in this situation your output will become 1 and also when s is 1 and x is 0 then in that situation also your output will become 1 so this is your output equation like this you can write the output equation so finally i can say that basically output actually will be your okay this will be your output remember where s is the current state and this s this s is the current state x is the input bit similarly you can also write the next state equation what will be the next state equation that will be just focus on when the next state will become one so here the next state is becoming one just focus on when can when how can you make next state one very simple if you are in this state if s is zero if s is zero and x is 1 then the next state will be 1 correct if s is 0 and x is 1 then the next state will be 1 or if s is 1 and the x is 0 then also the next state will become 1 so this is your next state variable equation so very simple we have written the this is the next state equation and this is the output equation from the from this state diagram you can also write these equations from the state table also if you want to write okay so you can make the state table so let me just make the state table okay so you can very easily say that you have okay your state you have okay this is your state and you have an input now what you can do this is your next state and this is your output so remember this is your output this is the variable output and this is your next state okay so this is the variable we are using for next state now very simple 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay now you can notice when s is 0 then you can notice if x is 0 if x is 0 you will okay so that will uh, you will output 0 and you will go to state 0 and if x is 1 then you will output 1 and you will go to state 1 so basically if okay if s is 0 x is 0 then what i can say here okay so in this situation you can notice the next state is also 0 and output is also 0 okay and if s is 0 x is 1 then the next state is also 1 output is also 1 okay and you can notice if s is 1 if s is 1 then s1 and x0 then the output will be 1 okay and you can notice the state will be 1 and if s is 1 the input is 1 then the output will be 0 and the next state also will be 0 
okay so now from this you can very easily write the equation for s plus so what will be s plus you can notice s plus is nothing but exclusive or so s plus is basically exclusive or and you can notice y plus is also y is also exclusive or okay so you can notice both are same this is also exclusive or because you can notice what is this this is x xor y and you can notice what is this this is also x xor sorry x xor x okay so you can use the state table also or you can use the direct state diagram from the state diagram you can directly write but remember from the state table or from the state diagram whenever you write the equation for any variable then just focus on making that variable one when this variable will become one just focus on that similarly when this variable will become one just focus on that okay so then you can very easily write the equations okay now for the same problem so this is our problem for the same problem you can design the more machine also so let me design the more machine for this same problem okay so again in in the initial state i don't want to print anything okay you can notice in the initial this is your initial state in the initial state i can print zero okay there is no problem okay because in this initial state i will print zero so if any number of zero are coming i will print zero okay if the first one is coming then what i will do now the first one is coming now i will print one okay if zero are coming now i will print one but now if one comes then what i will do then i will print zero so this is your more machine for this problem you can notice for this problem we have created the mille machine this is your mille machine and this is your more machine okay so like this you can do okay